What's up, Virgo? It's Obsidian Lotus Cell. I just asked Spirit who I was reading for, and I saw the Hermit card immediately. So it is you. And the Knight of Wands just came out. So what is really up? Okay, that's my hoe card. <laughs> I know it's spring. Come on, Virgo. What's going on? All right. So Spirit Angels, Ancestors, guys, what messages? You're waiting. All right. Somebody's waiting to be out. Somebody wants to be out. I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe somebody's just got you thinking here. And I feel like Spirit is saying, caution, don't do it. All right? Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, what messages do we have for my lovely Virgos today? Spell. Somebody's got you under a spell. Or hopefully that's not what you want to do to somebody else. <laughs> I don't think that's your energy. At least I hope not. All right. What messages do we have for my lovely Virgos today, Spirit? Also, if you'd like your personal, that information is going to be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment, etc. Um, keep in mind, these are collective energy readings. So we have communication, power, and you're sensitive. So there's communication coming in that's going to give you power. There's also communication that's coming in that's going to it's going to tug at your heartstrings. Okay, um, and you're very sensitive right now. Maybe you're very sensitive to other people's energy. It could also be the energy of being very sensitive to other people's energy. Be careful about the communication that you're having right now because of how sensitive you are. All right, so however that resonates for you, you will know if it's you. All right, so let's see what's going on. Virgo, spirit angels, ancestors, guys. What's going on with my Virgos? Somebody is like ashamed here. I don't know if it's you or an air sign or somebody juggling. Somebody's ashamed and wants to stop something or put something to rest here. It's kind of like, why did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? Energy. Interesting. Um, if you're dealing with an air sign, they might, be, they might be feeling like that with you for some reason. Judgment energy. The star card. Your prayers are going to be answered here in regards to finances, though. And third-party energy here, home life. You could be in a situation or a situation ended. Or this could be this air sign. There is air energy here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, third-party shit going on. Four of Cups energy. Unexpected energy. There's a level of surprise here in something... Um, you're over it, okay, or somebody rejecting somebody's energy here. And then the Two of Pentacles energy in reverse is your energy. So I don't feel like it's you that's juggling at this time. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, overall energy or final outcome. It's not being grounded. Why? Because things aren't what they seem right now for you. All right, we do have the strength card here. This could be involving Leo energy. If it's not, it's just, I feel like this is the overall energy. You're having to be very strong right now, Virgo. Whatever's going on, it's requiring, requiring a heck of a lot of strength, okay? So let's see what the fuck's up with you guys. <laughs> Sorry I'm cussing, but who's messing with the Virgos, right? So my Virgos. What is this judgment energy with a star? There could be a judgment on an Aquarius here as well. Because star card is also Aquarius energy with finances here and somebody watching. Gossip. Shit talking. Watching somebody. Somebody was literally watching somebody. This has to do with money and there's a judgment here. Stalking. Air energy again. What is this Three of Swords energy? Knight of Pentacles. Third party energy. There's somebody is literally fighting somebody off to get towards somebody else. And I feel like that might be you. Okay. Somebody put you in a third party situation, but you're having to fight this person off. It looks like a fucking dragon here to get to somebody else's energy. What is this Four of Cups energy? All right, so surprisingly, you're gonna be happy here with that, that card coming out and there's new love and, and coming your way. 
So it's whatever this energy is here, you're gonna be surprised. You're moving towards happiness. You're moving towards something that's more emotionally, somebody that's emotionally available. I feel like this energy appeared to be emotionally available and was not. They put you in third party energy. They were stealing or had plans to steal money here or something here with finances. This is the judgment. There might be actual lawsuit or judicial en um, energy here as well. Something happening with the law involving Aquarius energy, air sign energy and spying too going on. Um, and again, that could be like restraining order. If somebody's done something crazy to where they're like spying, hacking, um, shit. But we do have something being, uh, you're, you're, you're basically amazing at what you do here. All right. So this energy, uh, for you, you're focused on money, your money, you're protecting, you're doing your prayers, you're doing your protection work here. Somebody's lighting candles, praying, um, very focused on the energy of becoming successful here with what you do, whether it's a business or just your own personal craft whatever it is that you do. It's like you're not juggling options here. You're just very focused on money or this is the energy that you would like to be in. And so I feel like if you've got a partner here, this is the energy you would like for your partner to be in and they're not. This person is just, they wanna take. This person wants to take. What is this queen of pentacles? And then you're, you're left feeling ungrounded and trying to figure out what the fuck was in all these cups anyway. What is this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy with the Seven of Cups? Final outcome. The world. All right. So, um, there's going to be a change here in distance travel. Um, But the world is also, um, this is in reverse, okay? So, and the queen's in reverse. And so it's kind of like somebody's got you out of your element to the point where or something here isn't what it seems. And I keep looking at the snake energy. Um, <clears throat> betrayal, seven of swords energy. I'm telling you right now, if you have an air sign in your energy anywhere, loud and clear message here. Something is not what it seems. Seven of cups, seven of swords your energy is flipped upside down queen of pentacles is in reverse the world's in reverse so it's like your man your energy here as far as this is going nowhere with this all right so there's something here a judgment that's being made or needs to be Two of Pentacles or Two of Cups in reverse. All right, somebody is, and then we're going back to the spell work too. Again, Three of Wands in reverse. There's no expansion here. This isn't a soulmate connection. If you are involved with somebody here, there's no expansion. There's not a soulmate connection here. This is not a wise investment. Looking down at the Ace of Pentacles again. So whatever you've been spending time in here or involved in, indulging in, a spirit is saying no, 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 no. No, you were literally under a spell. And if it's spell, it could be seduction, sex, whatever. This person is involved with third parties. You're trying to get away. You can't. Maybe you don't even know this person's involved with a third party. King of Rods, of Masculine Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of Swords. Yep. This person is working with somebody to do something here. Betrayal, Seven of Swords, Energy, Theft. Oh my God. Air Energy. Chariot. Fast Movement. Could be Cancer. All right. Final outcome. What is this Chariot Energy? You're at a crossroads here. Okay, yeah. So it's like somebody's got to get and get up and go, period. Somebody's in a situation, they need to get up and go today. I don't give a fuck if this is what you're fighting off because something bad is happening here as far as finances and somebody stealing money or trying to. And you've got soulmate here with a world upside, with a world upright connection and not moving towards your soulmate because of this shit. Because somebody's after a situation here with money, it looks like, okay?
that's under the Eight of Pentacles here, Queen of Cups. Strength. There's a strong bond possibly between you and a water sign or a fire sign as well. Commitment, contracts and careers. Storm, water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio, and then transformation. So, I mean, this is a situation, it looks like there's something happening here. It's happening for a reason. I just feel like you, there's something here that you're holding on to that isn't there anymore. And it's, I feel like you need to take the rose colored glasses off and look at what the bigger picture is. The message I'm getting for you, Virgo, is because there's something behind some of the shit that's been going on, some of the shit this person's even involved with. I feel like you're with somebody. If you're with somebody, you're living with somebody, you don't even know. Power. Boom. There it is again. All right. So I'm just going to leave this here for you guys. I'm going to draw a couple tea leaves because I got to get going. Spirit angels, ancestors, what other messages do we have for my lovely Virgos? Really quick. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important, okay? Four leaf clover, good luck, good fortune. Okay, you're gonna have good luck here in your life and your situation. Um, and then taking a vacation physically or mentally hammock. And I feel like it sounds like you're gonna need to after all this is said and done, um, possibly in June. And then money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. And then keep your life in balance with the scales. All right. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message was helpful, guys. If you'd like it personal, that information is going to be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment, etc. Bye.